Eastern Europe, nicknamed the Land of Many Empires, is a region in Europe attracting over 50 million visitors every year. It's been a battleground for many empires and ideologies, which has shaped its nations into resilient entities, playing a pivotal role in the development of modern history. Today, Eastern Europe continues to intrigue visitors, offering a profound understanding of the complexity of our world. From the vibrant streets of Budapest to the medieval charm of Brasov, here are the 25 best places to visit in Eastern Europe. 25. Krakow Krakow is the second largest city in Poland. With a history that stretches back to the 7th century, this city is one of the oldest cities in the country. Krakow has played a pivotal role in Poland, even serving as the nation's capital until 1596. The city's resilience shines through its history, notably during World War II. Krakow endured the horrors of the Krakow Ghetto and witnessed the heroism of individuals like Oskar Schindler, whose actions saved many lives. Today, Schindler's factory stands as a museum, a sobering reminder of the city's past struggles and the enduring spirit of its people. At the heart of Krakow is the Main Market Square, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that serves as the city's social and architectural centerpiece. Here, you can experience the city's lively atmosphere, surrounded by historic buildings like the Cloth Hall and St. Mary's Basilica, the latter famous for its hourly bugle call. The Wawel Royal Castle, another highlight, offers a glimpse into the regal past of Poland, with its Renaissance architecture, cathedral, and royal chambers, all set within manicured gardens. The Kazimierz district, once the Jewish quarter, now stands as a testament to Krakow's contemporary zest with remnants of its Jewish heritage alongside a dynamic nightlife scene. Also, the Wieleska salt mine invites you to explore its underground marvels, from salt sculptures to chapels, showcasing the ingenuity and tradition of the region. 24. Brand Castle Brand Castle rises on a cliff above Brand Village in Romania, offering stunning views of the Carpathian Mountains. Originally built by the Saxons in 1377, the castle served as a strategic defense point against the Ottoman Empire and has fulfilled various roles over centuries, from a customs house in Transylvania to a royal residence. Exploring Brand Castle, you encounter the inner courtyard, a gateway to understanding the castle's layered history. The chambers, corridors, and stairways around the courtyard tell tales of times long gone. The Queen's apartments, in particular, offer a glimpse into the life of royalty, with Queen Marie of Romania's art and furniture collections. The Exhibition Hall presents the castle's history through artifacts and informative exhibits, while the dungeons offer a chilling reminder of the castle's medieval past, whether opting for a guided tour to gain deeper insights or exploring independently, you engage directly with the stories and legends that fill the castle's ancient walls. 23. Tallinn Tallinn, the capital of Estonia, finds itself on the northern edge of the country. The city's layout is compact, making ideal for exploration by foot. The history of Tallinn is long and storied, dating back to the late 1st millennium BCE with the establishment of a fortified settlement. By the 12th century, this settlement had evolved into a bustling town, becoming a key player in the Hanseatic League. Following independence from the Soviet Union in 1991, Tallinn emerged as a contemporary European capital. Exploring Tallinn brings you to the Old Town, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that is encircled by defensive walls and filled with narrow cobbled streets. Gothic churches and charming shops make it a focal point for anyone visiting. Not far from here, the 15th century Kiek in de Kok Tower provides insights into the city's military past. Kardiok Park, established by Russian Peter the Great, offers a peaceful retreat with its Baroque palace, well-kept gardens, and art exhibits. The Alexander Nevsky Cathedral and Maryama Castle add to the city's architectural diversity, with the latter now hosting the Estonian Parliament. Tallinn encourages active encouragement with its heritage and culture. Walking through the Old Town offers expansive views of the city. The transformation of Teliskivi Creative City from an industrial complex to a center for arts, eateries, and nightlife reflects Tallinn's ability to innovate and adapt and events like the Tallinn Song Festival exemplify this balance, uniting thousands in a celebration of music and community. 22. Plitvice Lakes National Park Plitvice Lakes National Park is one of Croatia's oldest and largest national parks. The park, established in 1949, spreads across a vast landscape that is constantly reshaped by the flow of mineral-rich waters through limestone and dolomite rocks. 
This process, playing out over millennia, has given rise to a series of 16 lakes with waters cascading from one lake to the next over natural travertine dams. The park was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1979, a status that underscores its global importance. The park's layout invites you to explore its split personality, the upper and lower lakes. The upper lakes charm with their serene setting among dense forests, where water flows from one lake to another, creating a peaceful harmony with the surrounding nature. Gotziak Lake stands out as the largest in the park, offering a tranquil expanse of water that reflects the sky above. Nearby, the Veliki Pristav waterfall showcases the dynamic power of water, dropping dramatically into the lake below. Transitioning to the lower lakes, the landscape shifts, presenting a more dramatic interaction between water and rock. Here, the Milanovats waterfall draws you closer with its roaring presence, demonstrating the relentless force with which water shapes the landscape. The Korana River adds to the park's diversity, flowing gracefully through the park and providing opportunities for swimming and boating. The park's lakes are renowned for their dynamic range of colors, which shift with the changing angle of the sun, the mineral content of the water, and the presence of algae. This natural phenomenon ensures that no two visits to the park are ever the same, with the lake's hues varying from deep blues to vibrant greens, adding a sense of wonder and discovery to every visit. 21. Cochin Fortress The Cochin Fortress, standing on the right bank of the Dniester River in southwestern Ukraine, founded in the Chernitsky Oblast, it traces its origins back to the 10th century and has since been a witness to the ebb and flow of various empires. The fortress's history is rich with notable events, including the Battle of Kochin in 1621, where a Polish-Lithuanian coalition triumphed over a larger Ottoman force, marking a significant victory in their history. This place, intertwined with the historical fabric of northern Bukovina, a Romanian region annexed by the Soviet Union in 1940 under the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact, the old Kamenets Castle of Kamenets Podilski, Another renowned defensive structure lies in close proximity, linking two monumental sites in a narrative of historical significance. Exploring the Kotin Fortress allows you to walk through history. The citadel, the oldest part of the fortress built in the 13th century, provides panoramic views of the surrounding landscape and the Dniester River. This high point of the fortress is not just about the views, it's a gateway to understanding the strategic advantage this location provided throughout history. The palace, dating back to the 17th century, was the residence of Moldavian princes and now serves as a museum, offering a curated glimpse into the fortress's past with a collection of exhibits. The fortress is designed with four gate towers, among which the Turkish gate, erected in the 16th century, stands out with its impressive architecture. Additionally, the casemates, a network of underground chambers, reveal the fortress's defensive strategies, where provisions were stored and people found shelter during sieges. 20. Budapest Budapest, the capital of Hungary, splits gracefully along the Danube River into two distinct areas. The west side, known as Buda, features a landscape of hills that offer stunning views across the Pest, the flatter east bank that serves as the city's commercial center. The chain bridge, a suspension bridge completed in 1849, symbolizes the connection between these two halves, embodying both a landmark and a practical passage for daily commutes and leisurely strolls. It is rooted in ancient times and grew through the unification of Buddha, Obuda, and Pest in 1873. Among the must-see destinations is the Buddha Castle District, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that sits atop Castle Hill. This area includes not just the historical Buddha Castle, but also the Matthias Church and the Fisherman's Bastion, all of which provide breathtaking views over the city. The Hungarian Parliament building, with its neo-Gothic architecture, represents the nation's political history and modern-day governance, where tours here offer a glimpse into the grandeur of Hungarian parliamentarianism. The Sechenia Bats, known for their extensive thermal waters, embody the city's reputation as a spa capital, offering a variety of pools, saunas, steam rooms, and massage treatments that cater to those seeking relaxation and rejuvenation. Activities in Budapest range from taking a cruise on the Danube River, which allows you to see the city from a unique vantage point, to exploring the city's unique ruined bars. These bars, set in abandoned buildings, offer a glimpse into Budapest's creative and social life. 19. Uvac Valley Uvac Valley unfolds in southwestern Serbia, straddling the municipalities of Nova Varush and Sienica. Designated a protected area in 1971, Uvac Valley's conservation efforts have played a critical role in preserving the unique ecosystem here. 
A notable success story is the reintroduction of the griffin vulture. These birds, with impressive wingspans, had disappeared from the area but have since returned, thanks to dedicated conservation efforts, making the valley a haven for one of the largest griffin vulture colonies. The griffin vulture reintroduction program here is celebrated as a conservation triumph. These birds significantly contribute to the ecosystem by scavenging dead animals, which helps prevent the spread of diseases. The valley's reputation as a site of natural beauty was cemented when it was voted one of the seven natural wonders of Serbia in 2008. Among the valley's many attractions, the Uvac meander stands out. This natural phenomenon, a dramatic bend in the Uvac river, offers stunning views that are best experienced through boat tours. These tours not only provide a unique perspective of the meander, but also offer opportunities to observe the diverse bird life. The Molitva Stone, another highlight, offers panoramic views from its lofty position above the river bend. Various observation points throughout the reserve ensure that you can fully appreciate the grandeur of the Uvac meander, the expansive canyon, and the surrounding mountains. The valley also houses an extensive cave system with more than 6,000 meters of explored passageways, including notable caves like Usaka Cave, Ledena Cave, Tibuksa Cave, and Bardiatska Cave. Each cave presents its own set of unique formations and historical significance, with evidence of human habitation dating back to the Paleolithic era. 18. Kotor Kotor, a fortified town in Montenegro's Adriatic coast, holds a unique position in the Bay of Kotor, recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The town's foundation stretches back to the 15th century BC, seeing rule by various powers. Kotor's name has changed over the centuries, most notably during its period under Venetian rule, when it was known as Kataro. The Venetian impact is particularly evident in the town's architecture, where the medieval old town and its robust city walls stand as enduring symbols of Kotor's history. These fortifications not only protected the city, but also now serve as a historic attraction that offers stunning views of the surrounding area. In the 19th century, Kotor became part of Montenegro and has since evolved into a favored destination. The Old Town, a UNESCO site, is a captivating network of narrow streets and squares, flanked by Venetian palaces. It's here that you can explore the Cathedral of St. Trifon, the Maritime Museum, and the city walls that provide a vantage point over the bay and town. Beyond the town, the Bay of Kotor is dotted with significant sites, like the islands of Zvetis Dorde and Gospa Or Skripiela each hosting historic churches that tell their own stories of the past. Exploring Kotor offers a chance to immerse yourself in its storied streets, sampling Montenegrin dishes or climbing the city walls for a broader view of the bay's splendor. Boat trips around the bay present another perspective, showcasing the scenic beauty and tranquility of the area. For a day trip, Love's End National Park provides panoramic views of Montenegro and the Adriatic Sea from Mount Love's End, where the mausoleum of Montenegrin ruler Peter II Petrovich Niegos resides. Now, I know you're getting excited about all these amazing places to visit, but if you're eager to travel the world to explore new locations, cultures, foods, and much more while taking a breather from your everyday life, you also know it can cost you quite a lot of money. With the Travel on a Dime ebook, you have the opportunity to make the most out of any place you visit without overspending on your travel budget. From finding the right flights and hotel deals to money-saving tips during your trip, it's the perfect guide to help you travel like a pro, ensuring you have a great experience while saving hundreds of dollars on travel. To get your own copy, all you have to do is click the link in the description below this video. 17. Bratislava Bratislava, the capital of Slovakia, has undergone a remarkable transformation. Once overlooked in the era of communist Czechoslovakia, it has emerged as a dynamic and evolving city. The city's history is a compelling narrative shaped by diverse people from evidence of settlements dating back to the Stone Age, with the Celts establishing a fortified settlement in the 4th century BC and the Romans founding a military camp in the following century. Bratislava blossomed under Hungarian rule from the 10th century, serving as the capital of the Kingdom of Hungary and evolving into a pivotal trade center. Bratislava Castle, sitting atop a hill and offering panoramic views of the Danube, is a highlight. The castle's history, marked by destruction and reconstruction, spans from the 10th century to the present. Now it hosts the Slovak National Museum, connecting you with Slovakia's heritage. The old town, with its cobblestone streets and vibrant cafes, invites you to explore the town. Key sites include the main square, Roland Fountain, Old Town Hall, St. Michael's Gate, and the Primatials Palace, each a chapter in Bratislava's architectural narrative. 
Not far from the city, Devon Castle's ruins demand attention. Perched where the Danube and Morava rivers meet, its remnants tell tales of its past significance and offer breathtaking views. Bratislava is distinguished by its unique position as the only national capital bordering two countries. It boasts an unusual monarch crowning tradition and is the site of the world's first self-service restaurant. The city also features a distinctive UFO-shaped observation deck on the SNP Bridge, providing expansive views. 16. Sofia Sofia, the capital and largest city of Bulgaria, is not just a geographical location. It's a living, breathing history book. Over 2,000 years of history are etched into its streets, starting with Thracian tribes in the 8th century BC. When the Romans took over, they transformed it into Serdica, a thriving center of trade and governance. Through the ages, from Byzantines to Ottomans to a brief period under Soviet control, each ruler left their mark, enriching Sofia. The city's attractions are as diverse as its history. The Alexander Nevsky Cathedral stands as a monumental reminder of the sacrifices made during the Russo-Turkish War. Not far from this, the ancient Sveta Sofia Church hides a necropolis with 56 tombs beneath its floors, suggesting a rich history that predates the church itself. On the city's outskirts, the Boyana Church, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, captivates with its medieval frescoes. For a deeper understanding of Bulgaria's past, the National Archaeological Museum presents artifacts spanning from prehistory to the Ottoman era. Sofia's urban heart combines architectural styles that reflect its layered history. You can walk through streets where Roman ruins sit alongside Ottoman mosques and Soviet-era buildings. The city's parks, like Borisova Gradina, offer green oases where you can relax and enjoy nature within the urban environment. Bulgarian food, such as banitsa, moussaka, and shopska salad, showcase the blend of Turkish, Slavic, and Mediterranean flavors that define the local cuisine. 15. Moravian Karst The Moravian Karst, situated north of Brno in the Czech Republic's South Moravian region, is a protected area that spans approximately 92 square kilometers and contains around 1,100 caves and caverns. The region's geology has been shaped over millions of years by water erosion, leading to the creation of a vast underground labyrinth. Central to the Moravian Karst is the Makocha Abyss, a dramatic 138-meter deep gorge that marks the beginning of the Punkva River's journey underground. This feature serves as a gateway to the extensive cave systems that lie beneath. The caves provided shelter and were later used for religious purposes during the Middle Ages. Among these ancient spaces, the Punkva Caves stand out, discovered by Professor Carol Absalon in 1909. They're a highlight for many who visit the region. They offer an unforgettable experience with boat rides on the underground Punkva River and views of the awe-inspiring Makocha Abyss. The Slopska Sususkved Caves, recognized for their impressive formations of stalactites and stalagmites, represent another significant attraction. Meanwhile, the Barkarka Cave displays a variety of cave formations and archaeological finds. Above ground, the Moravian Karst transforms into a different kind of wonderland. Trails wind through hills and valleys, offering serene settings for hiking and biking. The limestone cliffs challenge rock climbers with their imposing heights and rugged surfaces, and for a change of perspective, the Makocha Abyss can be experienced from its towering edges or from the calm waters of the Pungfa River below on the boat ride. 14. Minsk Minsk, the capital and largest city of Belarus, is characterized by rolling hills reaching up to 222 meters above sea level. Minsk is often referred to as the City of Parks, highlighting its numerous green spaces. The history of Minsk stretches back to 1067. Over centuries, it's been part of grand empires, each era leaving its imprint. Despite suffering extensive damage during World War II under Nazi occupation, Minsk demonstrated remarkable resilience. The city was rebuilt and honored with the title of Hero City, celebrating the steadfast spirit of its residents. The upper city, known as Staromiesia, retains the charm of Old Minsk, with its 17th century architecture and the Cathedral of the Holy Virgin Mary. Independent Square stands as the city's core, anchored by significant buildings like the House of Government and the National Opera and Ballet Theater. Meanwhile, Victory Square memorializes Soviet victory in World War II with its eternal flame and towering obelisk. Activities in Minsk encourage you to immerse yourself through its museums and historical sites. The Sviselok River provides a scenic backdrop for walks or bike rides, while the Kamorovsky Market offers a glimpse into local life and traditional crafts. 
the National Opera and Ballet Theater presents an opportunity to experience world-class performances, and Belarusian dishes like draniki and borscht offer a taste of the local flavor, while traditional folk festivals allow participation in authentic music and dance. 13. Brach Island Brach Island is a gem in the Adriatic Sea. This island is the largest in Dalmatia, with its expansive area, ranking as the third largest island in the Adriatic. Brach's historical narrative is a complex layering of various cultures and influences, from the early settlements of the Illyrians to the ancient Greeks and Romans, each era has contributed to the island's culture. The arrival of the Croats in the 6th century marked the beginning of a period that saw the island under the rule of Venetian, Austrian, and French powers. The towns of Brac, each with its unique charm, offer a closer look into the island's soul. Supertar, the main town, is known for its quaint beaches and historical sites. Bol stands out for its Zlatni Rock Beach, a favorite among windsurfers and beach lovers for its distinctive horn shape and pebbly shores. Buchischa, a testament to the island's stone masonry tradition, showcases traditional architecture and houses an active limestone quarry and a stone masonry school. In certain areas, Brach adopts a car-free policy during peak seasons, promoting a peaceful ambiance conducive to exploration on foot. Hiking up Vidova Gora or cycling along scenic trails allows you to immerse in the island's natural beauty, while the food offers a taste of Croatian cuisine with local dishes like peka and vitalats, highlighting the island's culinary offerings. 12. Hill of Crosses In northern Lithuania, not far from the city of Šiaule, you'll find the Hill of Crosses. This small hill, modest in its dimensions, holds a profound significance for the Lithuanian people. It's a place where history, faith, and defiance intertwine, reflected through over 100,000 crosses that adorn its landscape. The tradition of placing crosses on this hill began under a veil of mystery. It's thought to have originated after the 1831 uprising against Russian rule, evolving into a poignant expression of prayers for peace, the nation, and the remembrance of loved ones lost to wars and hardships. This practice gained a new level of intensity during the Soviet era, a time when Lithuania was under a regime that suppressed religious expression. Planting a cross became an act of rebellion, a silent yet powerful statement of faith and national identity. Despite the Soviets' efforts to erase this symbol by bulldozing the hill, the cross has always reappeared, rebuilt by resilient hands, symbolizing hope and endurance. After Lithuania regained its independence in 1991, the Hill of Crosses transformed into a symbol of freedom. It became an open site for pilgrimage, highlighted by the visit of Pope John Paul II in 1993, who recognized it as a place of hope, peace, love, and sacrifice. The establishment of a Franciscan monastery nearby in 2000 added a new dimension to its spiritual significance. As you explore the Hill of Crosses, you walk among a vast collection of crosses, each with its own story and significance. This experience offers a moment to reflect on the layers of faith, history, and human spirit that this place embodies. You can also light a candle or leave your own cross, adding a personal touch to the collective memory encapsulated here. 11. St. Petersburg St. Petersburg, Russia's second city, was founded by Peter the Great in 1703 and quickly rose to prominence as the imperial capital, shaping the country's destiny for over two centuries. Its waterways and islands have earned a comparison to Venice. The city's foundation was Peter the Great's ambitious project to bring Russia into the modern age, drawing on European influences to design a city that would serve as a window to the West. Exploring St. Petersburg offers a journey through its artistic and architectural marvels. The Hermitage Museum, with one of the world's largest art collections, spans the breadth of human creativity, from ancient artifacts to works by Rembrandt and Van Gogh. Peterhof Palace, with its elaborate gardens and fountains, echoes the grandeur of the Russian imperial era. Then, there's St. Isaac's Cathedral and the Church on Spilled Blood that stand as architectural masterpieces, offering insights into Russia's Orthodox heritage. The experience of St. Petersburg is further enriched by its unique phenomena and symbols. The white nights of summer, when twilight extends through the night, create an almost magical ambiance that transforms the city. The bronze horseman statue not only commemorates Peter the Great, but also symbolizes the city's enduring foundation. Meanwhile, the metro stations, resembling underground palaces with their ornate decorations, and the city's numerous bridges, particularly during the nightly spectacle of their raising, underscore St. Petersburg's beauty. 10. Crooked Forest In the village of Nove Charnovo, 
Close to Gryfino Town in northwestern Poland, you'll find a crooked forest, or Shirit Las, is a grove where pine trees defy expectations. Around 80 of them curve dramatically towards the north, just above ground level, creating an almost surreal landscape over two hectares. This phenomenon has given the area a status as a protected natural monument, emphasizing its unique place in the natural world. These trees, planted in the 1930s, shared their space with the straight pines of the surrounding forest, making their twisted forms all the more striking. There are theories about their shape, from specific tools or techniques used in their growth, to the impact of a severe snowstorm, to human intervention for practical purposes like furniture or boat building. However, the absence of concrete evidence means the truth remains as elusive as ever. Griffino, a stone's throw away, offers a glimpse into history with its medieval castle and charming town center. It serves as a perfect complement to the natural intrigue of the crooked forest, providing a cultural counterpoint to the enigmatic appeal of the trees. The area around the crooked forest also encourages active engagement with nature. It is well suited for hiking and biking, offering pathways that let you immerse in the tranquility of West Pomerania's landscapes. This natural setting provides a stark contrast to the human history evident in Grifino, allowing you to appreciate the diversity of experiences available. 9. Skopje Skopje sits in the Skopje Basin, cradled by the Vardar River, which cuts through the city. The city has a rich history, with evidence of settlements dating back more than 7,000 years. Over time, it has seen conquests and influences from various empires that influenced the architecture, culture, and food of Skopje. Skopje has undergone significant changes, especially after the devastating earthquake in 1963. The reconstruction efforts in the early 2010s, which included the addition of numerous statues and monuments, have given the city a distinctive appearance. One notable area is the old bazaar, known as Sarchia, which stands out as the second largest in the Balkans, after Istanbul. The bazaar's streets are filled with shops offering handcrafted souvenirs, spices, and local foods, creating a lively atmosphere that draws you in. Another significant landmark is the Kale Fortress, an imposing structure from the Ottoman era that provides stunning views of the city. Its walls, courtyards, and watchtowers are a testament to Skopje's storied past. The Stone Bridge, an architectural marvel from the 15th century, spans the Vardar River and serves as a popular gathering place, connecting different parts of the city. The Museum of Contemporary Art offers insight into Macedonia's art scene with a vast collection of works for Macedonian and international artists and the Mother Teresa Memorial House pays homage to the Nobel Peace Prize laureate, showcasing her life and contributions to humanity. Skopje's food scene offers a fusion of Balkan and Mediterranean flavors. Dishes like tapce, gravce, burek pastries, and grilled meats highlight the local palate, with ajvar, a roasted red pepper spread, being a staple. Exploring the city by boat offers a unique perspective of its landmarks and skyline, while a trip to Matka Canyon allows for an escape to nature with opportunities for hiking and enjoying the serene landscape. 8. Tatev Monastery The Tatev Monastery stands as a historic sentinel in the southeastern expanse of Armenia within the Sunik province. The 9th century Armenian apostolic Christian monastery has withstood the test of time, residing on a massive basalt plateau near the village of Tatev. This monastery has been a pivotal center throughout the ages serving not only as the bishopric seat of Siunik, but also as a nucleus of economic, political, and spiritual activities. The origins of Taptev trace back to a period before it became a Christian monument, with its plateau serving as the site for a pagan temple. Following Armenia's conversion to Christianity in the 4th century, the temple gave way to a modest church, laying the groundwork for what would become the Taptev Monastery. This transformation marked the beginning of an era that saw the monastery become a beacon of faith and learning. The development of the monastery reached its zenith in the 9th century, when it was established as the Bishop of Sunik's seat. Its growth continued, especially during the 12th and 13th centuries, under the patronage of the Palavuni family. During this golden era, Tatev University emerged as a major intellectual center, attracting scholars far and wide. It offered a diverse curriculum that included philosophy, theology, law, medicine, and the natural sciences, making it a cornerstone of medieval Armenian academia. Despite facing adversities such as Mongol invasions and earthquakes, the monastery's legacy endured, benefiting from extensive restoration efforts in recent years. As you walk through the monastery complex, the Church of the Holy Mother of God stands out, built in the 12th and 13th centuries. This church captivates with its intricate frescoes and impressive dome. The defensive walls that encircle the monastery date back to the same era, featuring towers that offer stunning views of the gorge below. 
One of the most intriguing aspects of Tatev is the Gavazan, a 10th century swinging pillar with a legend tied to fertility. Nearby, the Hermitage of Tatev offers a glimpse into the monastic life of solitude and prayer. Adding to the experience is the Wings of Tatev aerial tramway, providing a unique vantage point over the Vorotan Gorge, enhancing the connection to this historic site. 7. Ljubljana Ljubljana, the capital of Slovenia, wraps itself in the landscapes of the Julian Alps to the north and the Karst Plateau to the south. The story of Ljubljana reaches back to prehistoric times, with its peak during the Roman era as the city of Imona. The first mention of its name dates to the 12th century, evolving into a significant settlement within the Habsburg monarchy and serving as the capital of Carniola. Ljubljana Castle stands out as a historical landmark, offering panoramic views of the city and insights into Slovenian heritage. The city's core, Preseren Square, radiates with architectural beauty, including the Franciscan Church and Roba Fountain. A walk along the Ljubljanica River reveals the triple bridge, particularly stunning when illuminated at night. Tivoli Park, with its extensive green spaces, botanical gardens, and a second mansion, provides a serene escape within the city. Engaging with Ljubljana's culture is easy, from attending performances by the Slovenian Philharmonic Orchestra to admiring Slovene art at the National Gallery. A boat cruise on the Ljubljanica offers a unique view of the city, while a walking tour can deepen your understanding of its historical and architectural heritage. And dining in Ljubljana allows you to sample traditional dishes at the Central Market or enjoy the atmosphere of riverside cafes and restaurants. 6. Chisinau Chisinau is the capital of Moldova, lying along the Bach River in the south-central part of the country. Chisinau is distinguished by its extensive green spaces, earning it the title of Europe's greenest city. The story of Chisinau begins in 1466, with its history shaped by the rule of various empires, including the Ottoman and the Russian. Each building and street in Chisinau speaks of the city's journey through time, offering you a walk through history as you explore its streets. Stephen the Great Central Park, for example, is a tribute to a Moldovan prince who fought against Ottoman rule. It's a favorite spot not just for its historical significance, but also for its serene lake and paths that invite leisurely walks. Similarly, the National Museum of Archaeology and History gives you insights into Moldova's past, stretching from prehistoric times to the present through its extensive collection of artifacts. The city's religious and monumental landmarks, like the Nativity Cathedral with its striking golden domes and the Triumphal Arch, commemorating Russia's victory over the Ottoman Empire, stand as symbols of Chisinau's resilience and beauty. These sites, along with the imposing Parliament Building, which hosts the nation's lawmakers, are key points of interest that offer a glimpse into the city's soul. The Central Market is a focal point for experiencing daily life in Chisinau. Here, you can browse stalls filled with fresh produce, flowers, and traditional crafts, capturing the essence of Moldovan culture. A short drive from the city, or Hebeki, offers a historical excursion to an archaeological site, featuring a cave monastery and fortress ruins, extending your exploration beyond the city limits. 5. Mali Semiachik Mali Semiachik, a strato volcano located on the eastern side of the Kamchatka Peninsula in Russia, tells the story of the Earth's ancient eruptions. This volcano is not just a single peak, but a complex of cones built up over successive eruptions, each nested within the last. The history of Mali Semyachik stretches back around 20,000 years, with its most recent eruption occurring in 1952. The Troitsky Crater, formed by a significant eruption roughly 400 years ago, is particularly noteworthy, not just for its captivating lake, but also for being a relatively recent addition to the volcano's long history. This mix of historical activity and present-day tranquility adds depth to your experience of the area. At the heart of Mali Semyachik lies a striking feature, the Troitsky Crater, home to a lake with waters of an unusual turquoise hue, a beauty rendered by the minerals dissolved within. This lake, despite its allure, is highly acidic, a natural phenomenon that demands respect and caution. The volcano resides within a vast caldera, a reminder of the powerful forces that can reshape the Earth's surface. This caldera, in turn, sits within the even larger Stena Sobolini caldera, evidence of the immense scale of volcanic activity that has shaped this region. Helicopter tours provide an unparalleled perspective of Mali Semyachik, allowing you to grasp the scale and beauty of the caldera and its surroundings from above. On the ground, the trails through the caldera cater to a wide range of abilities, ensuring you can find a path that matches your interest and fitness level. While the allure of Mali Semyachik is undeniable, it's important to approach with respect for its status as an active volcano. 
Staying informed about current volcanic activity and adhering to safety guidelines ensures that your visit is both enjoyable and safe. 4. Brasov Brasov is a city in central Romania, historically positioned as a crucial junction between the Ottoman Empire and Western Europe, enabling it to thrive through the ages. The city's history stretches back to its founding in 1211 by the Teutonic Knights on land that was once home to the Dacians. Under Saxon governance from the 13th to the 17th century, it became a focal point of prosperity and power, reflected in its architecture and cultural heritage. The architecture and cultural imprints left by the Saxons are visible throughout the city. Brasov was one of Transylvania's seven walled citadels, emphasizing its importance and the wealth that flowed through its gates, leading to its historical monikers, Kronstadt or Corona, both meaning crown city. In the city's center lies Council Square, a lively area framed by Baroque buildings and cafes, with the Council House standing prominently as a museum that narrates Brasov's rich history. Nearby, the Black Church commands attention with its Gothic architecture and the history it carries, including the 1689 fire that led to its name. The walls and bastions that once defended the city now offer panoramic views that define Brasov. St. Nicholas Church, in the Shade District, serves as a monument to the Romanian spirit during times of Saxon rule, showcasing distinctive architectural styles and frescoes. Another natural landmark, Tampa Mountain, offers views over the city and its surroundings, accessible by cable car with trails for hiking and biking. 3. Triglav National Park Triglav National Park stands as Slovenia's only national park, a significant portion of the country dedicated to preserving its natural wonders. Its deep history is evident in the traces of settlements dating back to the 1st century AD. The concept of protecting this area is not new. It was first recognized for its natural value in the early 20th century by the Austro-Hungarian Empire. The official designation of Triglav National Park in 1981 marked a significant step in conserving the alpine environment and its heritage. Lake Bled, though outside the park's limits, acts as a charming prelude to the wonders within. Not far inside, Lake Bohinj presents itself as the largest glacial lake in Slovenia offering tranquility and stunning scenery away from the more visited sites. The Socha Valley cuts a green swath through the landscape, its waters a playground for water sports and its villages a window into local culture. The park's trails lead through the Julian Alps, presenting opportunities for hikes ranging from leisurely walks to the more demanding ascent of Mount Triglav. Savisa Waterfall adds a dramatic flourish, dropping dramatically into a vibrant pool below and the Sosa River, often referred to by its striking green color, highlights the unique natural processes at play. The color, a result of glacial silt, underscores the interconnectedness of the park's ecosystems. 2. Gurgeti Trinity Church High above sea level, Gurgeti Trinity Church stands as a serene watchtower over the village of Stepansmida, once known as Kazbegi, within Georgia's Kazbegi municipality. This peak, one of Georgia's loftiest, casts a protective gaze over the church, with its snow-capped summit reaching into the sky. Throughout its history, the church has played a pivotal role, serving as a sanctuary for religious relics from Mishketa during dangerous times. Constructed in the 14th century, the origins of Gurgeti Trinity Church, including the architect and the exact date of its creation, remain shrouded in mystery. Unique to the region, it is the sole cross cupola church in Kevi province, accompanied by a bell tower built in the same era. Despite a period of neglect in the Soviet era, the church has been restored to its former glory, reflecting resilience and faith. You can explore the church's interior, where ancient frescoes cover the walls, though photography is discouraged, to preserve the sanctity and integrity of the art. The village of Stepansminda offers a glimpse into traditional Georgian life, with its architecture and daily routines providing a backdrop to the church's spiritual significance. Reaching the church is an adventure in itself, with options that cater to different preferences and time constraints. A hike to the church rewards with stunning vistas and a sense of personal achievement, while a 4x4 tour offers a quicker, although less immersive way to reach the top. Beyond the church, Stepansminda invites exploration with natural wonders like waterfalls and glaciers, alongside historical sites that enrich your understanding of the area. 1. Belgrade Belgrade, the capital of Serbia, stands at the confluence of the Sava and Danube rivers, with its varying elevation from 70 to 250 meters above sea level. Despite the significant damage it suffered during the Kosovo War in 1999, Belgrade has undergone extensive reconstruction, transforming into a vibrant urban center while retaining its historical charm. 
Among Belgrade's most notable landmarks is the Belgrade Fortress. This fortress has seen numerous battles, but remains a proud reminder of the city's defiance and strength, offering stunning views of the two rivers that have shaped Belgrade's destiny. A leisurely walk from the fortress leads to Knez Mihailova Street, a lively pedestrian zone offering a glimpse into the daily life of the city's residents. The Church of St. Saba, one of the largest Orthodox churches, dominates the city's skyline with its majestic beauty. It not only serves as a place of worship, but also as a vantage point for panoramic views of Belgrade. Similarly, Arasiganya, an island on the Saba River, provides a respite from urban life with its beach and recreational activities, embodying the city's love for the outdoors. If you're looking for any tips to enhance your own personal travel and help you manage your travel budget more effectively, click the link in the description. And remember to like and subscribe to help our channel grow.